we have the million we have the number 7,346,521 and 32 thousandths. And what I want to think about is if I look at the same digit in two different places, in particular, I'm going to look at the digit 3 here and the digit 3 here. How much more value does this left 3 represent than this right 3? In order to think about that, we have to think about place value. So let's write down all the place values. So this right over here, this is the ones place. And we could move to the right. And as we move to the right in place values, each place represents one tenth of the place before it. Or you could divide by 10 as we're moving to the right. So this is the ones place. This is divide by 10. This is the one tenths place, or the tenths place. Divide by 10 again, this is the hundredths place. Divide by 10 again, this is the thousandths place. And that S, I'm just saying to be plural, hundredths. Thousandths. Now, if we go to the left, now each place represents a factor of 10 more. So if this is ones multiplied by 10, this is the tens place. This is the hundreds place. This is the thousands, thousands place. This is the ten thousands place. I'm going to have to write a little bit smaller. This is the hundred thousands place. And then the seven is in the millions place. Millions, millions place. So what does this number, what does this three represent? What's well, in the hundred thousands place? It literally represents three hundred thousands, three hundred thousands, or you could say three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, three followed by five zeros. Now what does this three represent? It's in the hundredths place. It literally represents three hundredths. It represents three times. 1 over 100, which is the same thing as 3, which is equal to 3 over, let me do the 3 in that purple color, which is the same thing as 3 over 100, which is the same thing as 3 over 100, which is the same thing, which is the same thing as 0 0.03. 0 0.03. These are all equivalent statements. Now let's try to answer our original question. How much larger is this 3 than that 3 there? Well, one way to think about it is, how much would you have to multiply this 3 by to get to this 3 over here? Well, one way to think about it is to look directly at place value. So we got to multiply by 10. Every time we multiply by, every time we multiply by 10, that's equivalent to thinking about shifting it to one place to the left. So we would have to multiply by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven times. So multiplying by 10 seven times, let me write this down. So this multiplied by 10 seven times should be equal to this. Let me rewrite this. 300,000 should be equal to, should be equal to three over 100. Let me write it the same way. Three over 100, three over 100, multiplied by 10 seven times. So times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. Let's see, that's five times, times 10, times 10. Now, multiplying by, some, by 10 seven times is the same thing as multiplying by one followed by seven zeros. Every time you multiply by 10, you're going to get another zero here. So this is the same thing as three over 100, three over 100 times, times, one followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. So this is literally three over 100 times 10 million. So let's see if this actually is the case. Does this actually equal, does this actually equal 300,000? 300,000. Well, if you, if you divide 10 million by 100, well, you could. Dividing 10 million by 100, or I guess you could say in the numerator you have 10 million, in the denominator you have 100 if you were just to multiply it like this, if you view this as 3 over 100 times 10 million over 1. Well, you divide the numerator by 100, you're going to get rid of two of these zeros. Divide the denominator by 100, you're going to get rid of this 100 here. And so you're going to be left with three times, and we've got to be careful with the commas here, because since I removed two zeros, the commas are going to be different. It's going to be three times. We put our commas in the right place, so just like that. So this simplified, this simplified to three times 100,000, which is indeed 
300,000. So it did work out. Shifting the three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimal places makes that three worth one followed by seven zeros more, or it essentially makes that three worth 10 million more. So this three is, represents 10 million times the value of this three. Let me write down the number. So this three is 10 million, 10 million, 10 million times the value of that three.